All right, change the plans. I sold off the airlifts and got these Odinsus. I don't know how to pronounce it, Odin Suspension. It's actually made by Airx, you can see right there. Uh, the airlift were over-engineered, so just got this, ordered it. Uh, reason why I went this route is because I really like my Airx. Uh, I really like my Airx setup, but the lower front fork is... I lit it's well the lower front mount is I lit on the older style IS versus the newer ones. So let me unbox this really quick. Lower parts right there. It's really looking really good. Come to the manual. Let me set you up and unbox all the pieces and show you. the manual just pulled out the rear struts look pretty nice Wait, I'm gonna tighten that right here uh, got nuts coming with it the bump stop in there so the only thing I noticed different from my last setup was these spacers for it to catch all the way I don't think the last set I had there's one of them. There's the rear bags. Uh, previous setup was triple bellow. This one is double bellow with a huge spacer. Also, these are compression fitting instead of push to connect. It's going to be more secure, in my opinion. Put this one down. This other side. triple bellow still nice so I still actually have eh, his fork at the bottom I still actually have my old setup air I actually put them side by side and compare them since I still have it Dampening, I don't know. Also, okay. Yeah, adjustable dampening. Line holder on that. Two of them. And the other strut. Let me go grab the old setup and compare them to side by side. There's it all laid out. We got the two rear bags. 
rear shocks, front shocks with bags, triple pillow in the front, double pillow in the rear, with the spacer, brake tabs, spanner wrenches, and adjustment knobs. Quality is really nice, I think, actually. Looks just like my old RX set, quality wise, I would say. The white is nice and glossy and smooth. Actually, there, there's a little bit of a pearl in it, even actually. I don't know if it come out in the picture. Highly recommend these actually. I know how Eric says this is this is really good stuff right here. I'm gonna say the quality is there for sure. Looks like rubber top mount seal for the bags. Alright, let me go grab the original first gen set that I still have from my previous 3IS and then they compared them side by side see what really changed which I don't think it looks like much this top piece looks the same actually look at that pearl and that paint job on the struts just nuts these are just struts now I'm gonna see them all right, pulled one of each piece, and then I'm gonna take the whole set out. Don't mind it being a little dirty, but overall still in really good shape. Nobody wants to pick them up. I've just been holding on to it. As you can see, this is uh, like this style. It doesn't come off. Let me put each one side by side and then show the differences from First generation Airx from like 2014 compared to Old and Sus by Airx in 2022. I don't know what generation is considered, but more current than that. All right, let's start with the front. Obviously, fork on the lower, not an exact comparison for apples to apples because. I need the fork style for the newer IS. There's a sticker on the old Airx. Sticker on the old Odensus. Not a difference I see. Well, the bags look like they're the exact same. No difference. This is a little different though. This tab to hold the brake line. It's this style, whereas the previous one is like this. This is probably guessing it's gonna be steel since it's painted. This one, as you can tell, it's a little rusted a little bit. So maybe it's good that's painted. Okay, there's another look, another angle. Bags seem to be the same, but maybe these are just a little bit more worn out. You see it's kind of crunched up on these compared to the new ones. The top... It's like a little different. But that's not a big deal, I don't think. shocks comparison oh look at it sticks actually that's a difference is it solid so this is a top rubber this one's solid looks like And then 
knob is white to match the white. Older ones was a yellow sticker. Onto the rear bags, obvious difference. Old setup is triple bellow. New setup is double bellow. This compression fitting also is sticking straight out. This one's going at an angle. So I may have to mount this slightly different than my previous setup. This one also this is wider obviously what's interesting is oh it just fell off you see the studs kind of short on this case yeah this one the stud is huge i might have to cut this down well, i guess i'll install and see how it looks I don't want this to be sticking out that far on the control arm. We'll see. And moving to the rear. Again, this lower mount is a little bit different. Looks like this was rubber insert. Whereas this is not. It's like solid. No rubber inserts more like it's gonna be stiffer I guess interesting like this is solid that's cool so the front is solid on the top too very interesting definitely one difference oh here it goes again it says ripper top hat bushing whereas this one is straight solid like a performance coil over. So hopefully these are not noisy. Again, the yellow sticker. Hmm, I don't remember it being like that. Oh, actually, just a different. Have that. Oh, it looks like this knob is part of this. That's another difference. This one has it also. Oh, actually, no, that one's got it too. Never mind. They're there. <laughs> Disregard that. Same. Same for this adjustment screw. All right. And rear shocks. Side by side comparison. Rear bags. And then the front shocks with bags. One more look before I get them installed. I hope this was informative to somebody interested in researching on this Odin Sus brand. By Eric's, their budget brand. It doesn't seem budget to me. The same quality carried over from the Eric of previous into uh, a new brand. Yep. Hope this helps. I would definitely get these. I was very happy with my old setup, so that's why I went with this setup when I heard that this game was coming out. Okay, let me get, get these on the car now. Also, if I didn't take a video of it, 
yet. I'm doing it right now, I guess. This is the airline. Previously, I had it come kind of that way. Do this control arm for the airlift. But I kind of did like this into the airbag because this fitting actually stays in position with the vehicle and doesn't move. So this airline is not going to move ever because the portion of the bag that does move is this bag obviously and the control arm in this portion so now i don't have to worry about the fitting moving with the control arm suspension travel and this is nice and stationary and clears everything this control arm as well as those and the end link so yeah very happy with the way it is now it's gonna clear everything really well very happy with this Odin Sys by Eric's. All right, so full compressed or pretty close to full. Um, this setup, the airbags do not hit the inlet. So I'm going to do the trick I did last time in my last car. Plenty of space still. Last time I took two spacers out. I mean, a washer out of here. One right there. I think it has to do with it being double bellow instead of triple bellow. So with double bellow, the pivot point is only from here to here. Whereas triple bellow goes further down. And you know, like an accordion, it bends further. Like the, the, the angle of this will tweak further and then thus touching that end link. There's another look at the front. I mean, last look at least. 